Here's another construction that depends upon the perpendicular bisector to work. We're going to drop a perpendicular from a point onto a line. So I've got a point here marked P and a straight line and I'm going to draw a line which is perpendicular to the straight line which goes through P. That's called dropping a perpendicular. Okay, in order to use the perpendicular bisector construction we need some points to use it with and I'm going to construct those now with my compass. So I need to make sure that if I put the point on P I can cross the straight line so I need to make sure it's uh, opened wide enough to do that. That looks good so I'm going to draw two little arcs here and here that cross the line and I'm going to use those points as effectively the end of a line segment which I'm going to bisect. Now I just need to make sure that the compass is more than half the distance. That already is so I think I'll leave it uh, set where it is. Oh no perhaps I won't. I'll reduce it just slightly. So I'm going to draw some arcs either side of the line. Okay that's from that intersection point and then over to this one and Cross that arc, cross that arc. Now, okay, so anything drawn through these uh, two intersection points is going to be perpendicular to the original line, and therefore I can draw through the original point and drop my perpendicular there. Cross those two arcs over. Oh, slight slippage there. Let's just fix it. Oh, look, my compass has expanded, so I'm going. I'm not. I'm going to.